Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I'm thrilled for you to be here with me today. I have been using my Pushet Accessoire as my handbag um, the past couple weeks and I thought we could see if what I normally like to carry with me could be used in my Cosmetic Pouch GM. Um, so if you're curious about what this could look like and what fits, please stay tuned. Okay, so Cosmetic Pouch GM um, the reason I want to do a comparison between these two is because I was looking at them and I thought, oh my gosh, they are incredibly, they are incredibly similar in size. I mean, wow. So I checked the measurements. Okay, so the Cosmetic Pouch GM retails for $705 Canadian. It is 24 centimeters by 17 centimeters by six centimeters, which is super close to the Pochette Accessoire, um, which retails for $825. So $125 plus tax more um, at 23.5, 13.5, and four centimeters. So that is really, really close. Now the Cosmetic Pouch GM is slightly taller, but it's a dome shape. So you can't fill, you know, to the very, very top or you won't be able to zip it or you can risk damaging the canvas. So because you can only fill it up till about here, maybe, um, it makes it extremely comparable to the Pusha Thicks as well. So I thought we can do a nice comparison video to see if one fits more than the other or, um, yeah. And this guy, um, I will do a video about this, but it has these leather tabs with these little loops. And so they're perfect to fit D-rings on to transform it into a crossbody bag, which I got the idea from another YouTuber, Amanda Ray Review, who I will link below. Um, and I thought that was the most brilliant idea. So it makes this pouch, which you can use as a cosmetic pouch in your bag, um, in your bathroom. I use it as a catch-all in my, for example, my larger bags, like my Speedy 25. And I just thought that'll make it so versatile and so feminine like I, I love this dome shape I think it's so feminine and so special um, and a great way to use this piece and so if you're wondering you know you like the idea of the of the pochette accessoire but maybe you just find it a little bit too expensive or you want something a little bit different maybe this could work for you so I thought we would do that comparison um, so what I have in here right now in my cosmetic pouch is, it's like a catch-all. So I'll empty it and then what we'll do is we'll play around with what's in my push-up accessoire, which I'm currently carrying as a handbag. And yeah, we'll have fun seeing what fits. Okay, so first I have hand cream, hand sanitizer spray, a compact lip balm card case clay tissues the wet ones a pad my pill case, 
a perfume sample. What is this? Cœur Battant by Louis Vuitton. I love it. Love it. I wear um, the uh, <clears throat> Attrape Rêve by Louis Vuitton. But that's like my second favorite. And then I have in the bottom here two bobby pins and some Paul's cough drops. Okay. And now, oh, <laughs> I thought it was empty. Some Q-tips. Okay. So there it is. Empty. And what's nice about the cosmetic pouch is it has this wipeable lining. Um, so it's, if, if you spill something, like a lip gloss maybe, if it gushes out a little or something, um, it's wipeable. So you can clean the inside, which is really nice. Um, inside my pochette accessoire, it's a canvas lining. So it's, it's not wipeable. Like if you spill something in here, touch wood, but it is stained. So that's the little risk about this kind of lining. Okay, so what do I have in here? I'm gonna transfer it directly in the, in the cosmetic pouch and we'll see what fits. Okay, so first I have my mini pochette. And that fits no problem. Um, tissues. No problem my six ring key holder, no problem, um, double faceted mirror, the other thing I would have with me would be my phone but I'm filming on my phone so we have to take that into consideration. Uh, Band-Aids and um, glasses cleaning wipes. So I'll put those in the little slip pocket here. Takes no room at all. There you go. Some gum. Always, always have gum on me. <laughs> I'm a gum maniac. Okay. Um, a nail file that slips right in um, oil absorbing wipes need those in the summer they save my life oh there's another slip pocket on the other side that I can put them in um little hand wipe a lipstick I always carry Lipstick, lip gloss, lip balm, something for my lips, have to. There you go. And last but not least, my Travelo perfume spray. And that slips right in, no problem. So we are pretty full. But look at that. Perfect. It's not, I mean, there's lots of room left in here um, on the top. So maybe. There's definitely room for me to fit my cell phone. I could definitely fit that in, no problem. And let's say my sunglasses. Okay, so not with the case, but maybe we could try without the case. These aren't huge sunglasses. I, I wear tiny, round sunglasses. How do those fit on top? On top, okay. No problem at all. So actually, this guy fits more than this one because I could not fit my sunglasses um, in there. So this is awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. Um, okay, let's say instead of my, if I took my tissues out and I put in my clay, I could fit it standing up there and if I wanted to add something let's see maybe my hands my hand cream on top okay 
so that one makes it kind of wonky see the zipper and it's like really pulling I wouldn't do that no no hand cream but it is like a weird and really thick shape so if you have like a smaller tube of hand cream that would fit no problem um my hand sanitizer right on top no issue there um what else maybe my lip gloss no problem and then if we put my sunglasses back on top okay it's really full now um let's see if i'll be able to zip it without damaging or anything okay so it's kind of it's kind of pulling there um i wouldn't do that but so that's a little too full maybe if i take my hand sanitizer out and then just put my sunglasses in yeah that's gonna be not not an issue that's perfect so that's awesome it fits more than the pechet accessoire which does fit quite a bit um it has more than i really need to carry and the reason I thought now was a good time to do this video is because, you know, it's starting to, the, you know, the confinement is starting to stop and people are starting to be able to go out a little bit more. And I thought, you know, this summer, if we're out and about, we're going to all want to be outside of our homes and doing stuff as much as we can because we've been inside for months. Um... I'm not gonna wanna carry a big bag. I think I'm gonna be all about the small bags the next few months, cross bodies. Um, so I, I thought now would be a really good time to, to demonstrate this in case somebody would want to, someone thinking about finding a smaller handbag option. Okay, so. Um, I have three straps that I use for my Vachette Accessoire. So I have the Vachetta strap that comes with it. So this one has a clip on one side and the leather loop that you loop through that comes with it. I have this chain, this Felici chain strap um, that I love to use with my Vachette Accessoire. But this one does not fit on my cosmetic pouch because these clasps are too small for the loops. But I know um, that on Etsy, there are chain straps on sale um, that have a clasp like this one. Um, this is my Vachetta strap that I have from my original Vachetta Accessoire um, that I ended up selling when I because I really wanted to get the new model. I liked the longer, wider strap, and I like that this one is a tiny bit bigger than the original model, but I kept this strap. Um, so it is a little bit more patinaed <laughs> than my Pechet Accessoire, but I still absolutely love it. And this strap is going to be perfect. This kind of clasp is perfect to wear on these hoops so okay so here's what it looks like as a crossbody i think it looks so cute so there you have it my comparison of the pochette accessoire new model and the cosmetic pouch gm i hope you enjoyed it i hope if you're hesitating between either one that this video potentially helps you maybe make a decision which one you want. Uh, um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being part of my little YouTube family. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be posting as often as I can. And thank you so much for being here with me. I wish you a lovely, lovely day. See ya.